Now, this is one of the most common questions for would-be EV owners out there. Can I own one if I don't own a driveway? Well, the simple answer is yes. It's not quite that simple, but with a bit of planning, a lack of driveway isn't the impassable barrier to EV ownership than you might think. There are four main solutions and how useful they'll be will depend on your circumstances and where you live. The first is our favourite, charge up at work. Workplace charging is becoming more common, with many companies installing chargers for their employees to use while in the office. If it's not happened where you work just yet, perhaps mention it to a manager or note it on your next staff survey. With more drivers making the switch to electric, you probably won't be the only one asking. Option two is charging at the curbside. Many people have wall boxes installed even if they don't have a driveway. This doesn't come without its challenges though. You'll need to check your local council's rules on this because some insist that you unplug the car as soon as it's charged. Also, if someone trips and injures themselves, then you might be liable, which is why we always recommend you use an anti-trip cover if you're trailing the cable. A better option could be an on-street charger, which are becoming more common all the time. Sometimes they're brand spanking new units, or sometimes they're built into existing bits of road furniture like bollards, or in this case, a lamppost. Pretty neat. You're not going to get a super fast charge out of these kinds of chargers though. It'll be more like a home wall box, so rated around seven kilowatts, and you'll need your own cable. In more of a hurry, then use a rapid charger. There may be one at a service area on your journey or lots of petrol stations now have charge ports. A typical price for a high speed charger is around 45p per kilowatt hour, which would mean taking a typical EV from 10 to 80% charge cost around 30 pounds. Slower AC charging is often a little cheaper. In reality, you might end up using a few of these methods to keep your EV topped up. There's no way around it, having a driveway does make EV life much easier. But if your home does without, then that doesn't necessarily mean an electric car isn't for you. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live.